Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, Albany Technical College. We appreciate you all taking the time out to come to this uh, special event that we're having. This is an opportunity for Albany Technical College to uh, showcase some of the legacy uh, programs that we have here on campus. And today we want to refresh the Criminal Justice Technology Program. So now I'll turn it over to the instructor and the uh, Department Chair for Criminal Justice, Ms. Lynn Miller. Good morning, everyone. We're here today to refresh our criminal justice technology program, and I'm Lynn Miller. I'm the department chair, advisor, and an instructor for the criminal justice technology program, and this is Lakeisha Boone. She is uh, my right hand. She is also an instructor for the criminal justice program, an advisor for the criminal justice program, and she is the department chair for our cybercrime investigation program. I have a combined experience of 30 years within the field of criminal justice and education. Um, here at Albany Tech, we offer certificates, diplomas, and associate's degrees within the field of criminal justice technology. Our students, if not already employed within the field, are ready to go out and get that entry-level position as a law enforcement officer, as a correctional officer, or in the area of court services when they leave us. Uh, they can also go on to obtain additional education, obtain that bachelor's degree, and go on to even better careers within the field. Our people that come to us that are already employed in the field, this opens up new doors for them, new opportunities for promotional purposes. And to attest to that, we've brought several of our graduates here today to be with us to tell you a little bit about how Albany Tech Criminal Justice Technology Program opened up doors for them within the field. Good morning, everyone. I'm Deputy Coroner Rosalie Clements. I came to Albany Tech, hmm, I forgot how long ago it was. Um, I think I graduated, what, in 2014? Um, Mr. Singleton had the crazy idea of having me do an internship with Coroner Fowler and I fell in love with the job. And eight years later, I became a deputy coroner with him. And let's see, um, I, Dr. Parker actually at the time had the articulation agreement with Mercer and I was the first student to transfer from Albany Tech to Mercer University where I furthered my education um, all the way up to working on my master's degree. So, and once I finished that, I'm debating on whether or not I want to go for my doctorate. I have, this is actually not my first degree with Albany Tech. My first degree was actually accounting, and which I changed from nursing to criminal. So, there's, I uh, actually, and one day hoping to become coroner of Darty County. So that's my goal. I work closely with the awesome APD officers that trained here at Albany Tech, um, EMS that had trained here. Um, let's see, other teachers. And I thank Albany Tech for getting me where I am today because if it wasn't for this school, I probably don't know where I would be. I hope to maybe one day even come back to teach current or future students here. So. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Ayanna Mitchell. Um, it's actually a crazy story how I got to Albany Tech. I came here in 2019 for a career fair, and Miss Boone stopped me in the hallway, and she was like, hey, we're going to get you back in school. We're going to get you where you need to be. Um, so I entered the criminal justice program. I graduated in May of 2020. Um, and with that, I took my degree and I started my misdemeanor probation um, career. I have done that for two years. Um, I'm currently a case manager for Georgia Mentor. Um, and my master's program starts on Monday. Um, I will be starting at Albany State and getting my master's degree in criminal justice in the concentration of corrections. Um, I have a family here at Albany Tech. I can always call and get help, resources, support. 
I get what I need from Albany Tech, the instructors. So I appreciate Albany Tech for everything they have done and provided for me. And I encourage all students to come here and get what you need, the family, the support. So I thank y'all. Good morning. I'm Lieutenant Thompson. Um, I'm currently working with the Albany Police Department, a veteran of 19 and a half years. Uh, my education started actually here at Albany Tech and I was in the welding program and my instructor at the time, Carlos, came to me one day and says, hey, I enrolled you in the you know, law enforcement technology class. Me, intimidated by education, I was very worried about it and um, I continued to take welding classes but I also was in the law enforcement technology class and before you know it, somebody came to me and said, hey, uh, you know, next semester you're going to enroll in Albany State. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you've achieved your associate's degree, you know, in law enforcement technology. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And so um, my next step in, my, in life was to go to Albany State. And I uh, graduated with my bachelor's, you know, in criminal justice there, and now have a master's in um, public safety administration. And so uh, with the degree, the, the education that I learned, starting here at Albany Tech excelled me a above my peers when it came time for promotion. Um, it allowed me to assess for higher ranks a lot faster than my peers were and um, highly appreciative of it. And so uh, I worked uh, as a, a supervisor on patrol for a few years and then I went to supervise the gang unit and after that I went on to run the training unit with the police department for almost a decade. Um, I'm currently with the internal affairs uh, division now in the police department. Good morning. Good morning I'm Lieutenant Terrence Whitlock. I'm with the Albany Police Department. Uh, attending and graduating from Albany Technical College uh, created a pathway to further education and also to career advancement in my law enforcement career. Uh, coming here, it was a big challenge, but through the staff of Mr. Singleton, who actually stayed on to me uh, about coming here. Uh, once getting here, the classroom were uh, small. You could interact with the instructors, and they actually took time. And in that time, I was able to graduate. Uh, in, in, a, in, in two years, I proceeded on to uh, Troy University, where I graduated with my bachelor's. And now I'm uh, enrolled in Columbus State to receive my uh, master's degree. Uh, I've been to take did an outstanding job getting me prepared for my career, and I appreciate, appreciate everything that they've done for me. That's me. Good morning. I'm Tatisha Irving, the Assistant Police Chief at the Dorothy County Police Department. And I attended Albany Tech. Um, it was a little different for me because of trying time management. And Mr. Singleton you know, informed me that you can do the whole class on, the whole course online. Uh, which kind of geared me and swayed me back uh, to further my education. Albany Tech was very helpful in both aspects of my career, in the police aspect and the management aspect. Um, it enhanced my career. Um, I am currently two classes away from my bachelor. I'm finishing up my last two classes for my bachelor's degree and have already looked into going into the master's degree program in public administration. The staff here were very helpful. Um, I was able to pick up the phone, call, or stop by any time I had an issue or needed help. Um, they were supportive in the transfer from the associate's degree program for me going to get my bachelor's degree. And it was just very beneficial and very helpful and enhanced my career a whole lot. And with that, we'll be concluding our refresh event. But I just want to um, touch base on a few things. These people are a testament to how our program has helped their career. Uh, we could have brought many others in here to say similar things. Um, many of these officers were employed already in the field before becoming, you know, an associate's degree holder. Um, and with that being said, persons who already have employment in the field as a police officer or correction officer, we can give them prior learning credits, which will help them finish a little sooner because they've already been in the field for a period of time, they already know some things, so we don't want to go back over things they already know, so we give them prior learning credits. 
And again, that concludes our refresh event for the criminal justice technology program at Albany Technical College. If you're interested at all in this area, I would encourage you to reach out to myself, Mr. Singleton, or Ms. Boone. Thank you.